I tell you what, if you wanna be successful in sales, there are seven key things that you wanna do in a very specific order to be able to be successful at a very high level. One, and it's pretty freaking obvious, it is the meet and greet. It is your one opportunity to make a great first impression, so you better be enthusiastic. Yeah, that'll work. The second step is the consultation. This is your opportunity to ask intelligent questions, listen attentively, and understand what your client's wants and needs are. Third step is the presentation. Now that you have everything you need to know about their wants and needs, all you have to do is find the perfect product that matches their wants and needs, and you present it with enthusiasm, energy, and fun. This doesn't work, but negotiations do. And all you have to do as the fourth step is to sit down, ask some more questions, figure out what the value is of your product. And if you did a good enough presentation based on their needs, there's very little negotiations. <laughs> it worked now. <laughs> step number five is closing should be the most easy part of the whole thing because if you did a proper presentation and a good needs assessment, you should be okay. However, for most salespeople, it's the toughest thing to do. Ask for the signature. Step number six is delivery. All you have to do now is make sure that whatever you promise your clients, you deliver on, on time, and you exceed their expectations. That way, they're super happy with their purchase. The seventh and final step to the sales process, and probably the most important one, is after the sale follow-up. Remember the acronym, FUN. It stands for follow up now. You have to do it consistently after the sale. Your relationship doesn't end when you deliver a product or service. That's when it starts, so you can repeat the cycle. I am gonna make a series of videos diving in depth into each and every one of these steps, so make sure to subscribe so that you can see every single one of them. Uh, uh, <laughs>